I'm Ken Harbaugh, host of Warriors in Their Own Words. In this preview, we'll be sharing a clip from tomorrow's interview with Captain Daniel Inouye. If you'd like to see more previews like this, please let us know at kharbaugh at evergreenpodcasts.com. This area had been static for nearly six months. The division had been in position and had moved. And during that time, the Germans had built fortifications, uh, concrete fortifications. So when we were called back from France to lead the last assault to break this line, and it was felt that if you break this line, you will break the Italian resistance. We all assembled. But before we assembled uh, to listen to the division commander, our regimental commander sent many of the officers on reconnaissance. And he figured this would be the area very likely that we would be assigned to. And said, uh, look around and figure out the best approaches that you can find. And so when we met with the uh, division commander, our attack plan was already made. And so when the uh, division commander said, uh, I must tell you that this line has been here for over five months, and it's well dug in, well established. The Germans have fortifications and a lot of men up there. It's not going to be easy, but uh, we hope you can overcome these difficulties and take your first objective within a week. Uh, Regimental commander, and I'm sitting there as a young officer, the regimental commander turned to the general and said, uh, would it be okay if we finish it up in less than a day? He, he wasn't bragging because um, oftentimes a division has plans, you know. And the, the general thought our colonel was kidding. He said, are you serious? Absolutely. We can take our first objective in 12 hours something that they've been standing there for five months. But it called for attacking in an area that no one would anticipate. We had to sacrifice one battalion to take the traditional route going up forward, and they got slammed and hit. And while they were doing that, from about 9 o'clock at night, we were climbing cliffs that were just almost vertical. And I remember on this attack, we took off all of the things that would make noise. And we were told that if anything happens, don't yell. One fella fell without a peep. All you heard was the thump on the end. That's discipline. And I don't know how you describe that. Is that courage? Is that patriotism? It's something. He just fell and he must have known he was on his way to death. But when we got up on the top, um, at least in my company sector, I don't know about the other companies, we came across a German company that had just gotten up. They were lining up for breakfast. We're like shooting fish in a barrel. And we did it in less than 12 hours. That was Captain Daniel Inouye. Make sure to catch our full interview with Inouye when it releases tomorrow. Welcome to Anthology of Heroes, the podcast that explores the most pivotal moments of history through the eyes of those who lived it. In this podcast, we don't spend our time recounting facts and dates. Instead, we follow in the footsteps of national heroes, kings, or ordinary people who lived and breathed the moments that shaped our world. We're not hemmed in by eras, borders, or religions. Instead, we seek out the tales of those who defied the odds and fought passionately for their beliefs. Whether they're right or wrong is up to you to decide. From Vercingetorix's doomed rebellion against Rome to Osceola's unshakable war against the USA, 
all the way up to the inspiring Sobibor concentration camp uprising in World War II, each episode is an immersive listening experience, blending music and sound effects to really draw you into the story. Our episodes go for about 45 minutes, making them perfect for your commute, and are crafted using a wealth of historical sources, which I list on our website if you want to learn more. I'm the host, Elliot Gates, and I'm thrilled to have you joining me as we uncover history's hidden gems and illuminate the faded pages of our past. Look out for the Anthology of Heroes podcast on Spotify, Apple Music, or anywhere else you get your podcasts from.